So Science Foundation Ireland is always interested in partnering with excellent organisations around the world and Fraunhofer is a stellar organisation in the applied research space. I mean it is the international gold-plated applied research uh, organisation, extremely effective. Uh, so there were ongoing discussions, informal discussions, assisted uh, by a number of people, particularly Professor Jerry Byrne, uh, and then they led to a meeting in uh, Brussels and then subsequent discussions. And this is the first joint Fraunhofer Science Foundation Ireland initiative but I certainly don't think it'll be the last. And what does the opening of the centre mean for the Irish research community, both nationally and internationally? So this is a fantastic opportunity for both the academic and the industrial community. I mean, Ireland is a small country, limited population, limited uh, budget, so we can't do everything well. And by partnering with Fraunhofer, both the academic and the industrial sector have access into the huge Fraunhofer infrastructure, the ability to scale up, for example, prototyping, going from, in this case, a microfluidics device, where you make, make one or two in a research lab, up to three or 4,000, which you need for prototyping in the community before you go out to industrial industrial application. So this is a big opportunity and it's a kind of investment, you know, billions of investment that small countries can't make. So we need to partner with organisations to get access both for the academic and the industrial community. Uh, now the government's action plan for jobs has targeted areas such as life sciences and medtech as the ones of great potential for job creation. Will the FPC uh, help to achieve some of the goals set out in this plan? Absolutely. This new Fraunhofer Science Foundation Ireland Research Centre is in the area of microfluidics, diagnostics. That's in the life sciences space. It's diagnostics for health, it's diagnostics for agriculture, for water, for the environment, what have you. And it allows you to translate essentially uh, fundamental findings in the laboratory through a prototyping and out into industrial development. So this is a fabulous opportunity uh, for the academic and industrial community to really move along the development pathway, everything from discovery right out into the market please. And does SFI plan to support further international collaboration and research to fulfil the government's innovations and job strategies? So international collaboration is really very important. Uh, Science Foundation Ireland has that as one of our core uh, strengths. For example, with our nearest neighbour, the UK, we have collaborations and joint funding with the research councils, with the Royal Society, which is the premier organisation in basic research. So here we are with the premier organisation in basic research and in applied research with the Fraunhofer. Uh, also uh, in the United States with the National Institute of Health and the NSF, in China with the National Natural Science Foundation. So selectively with countries that have a major collaborative footprint with Ireland, we are forging international collaboration to give access for both the academic and industrial communities. Sorry, and finally, uh, how has this kind of international collaboration been affected by recent shifts in political landscape such as Brexit? So Brexit, interestingly, creates more opportunities for Ireland. I mean, it's never been more important for us to strengthen our bilateral collaborations with the UK, which we're busy doing with both uh, the co-funding with the research councils, with the Royal Society, with the Wellcome Trust. It's also really important to showcase Ireland as an attractive place for those people who may be thinking of moving, either from the US or from the UK or anywhere, China, wherever. We're really interested in bright people from around the world to come to Ireland to make a contribution to the economy. So never been more important in these uh, shifting times and a real opportunity for Ireland because we're developing up the scientific international scale. You can see our recognition by Fraunhofer, you can see it by the Royal Society and the National Science Foundation in the US and the NIH. So Ireland's an attractive place to come to and we want stars. Stars matter. They uh, treat and teach uh, students, they attract students from around the world, they attract companies from around the world, they form companies themselves. These are really important elements in the academic industrial interface and also for the economy and future of Irish society.